This is a follow-up video to one of my own videos that I made back in February of 2008. It's the classic Monty Hall problem. Uh, I've always heard this problem with uh, the example using goats in a car and this little applet that I'm going to use actually uses a donkey and money. The reason I'm coming back to this is because of a YouTube user by the name of Rollord. You can see that him and I have gone, him and I, I don't know if it's him or her, have gone back and forth uh, on this a, a little bit over the past few weeks or whatever. And he or she doesn't understand the puzzle, which, you know, isn't actually surprising to me because it's one of the hardest puzzles to wrap your mind around. Uh, this little applet right here, however, will give a visual illustration of exactly how this puzzle works, and it probably makes it a little easier to understand for those that don't get it, even after I explain it ad nauseum. So what I want to do is first I'll, I'll give those of you who haven't seen the first one, or, or I'll, I'll probably link the video that I made initially to this, but the way it works is you're on a game show and you got a prize behind one of the doors and uh, booby prizes behind the other two. Like I said, this this actually uses a, a donkey. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick door number one. The host is then gonna reveal one of the other two doors, and he's never gonna show me the prize. He's gonna show me the donkey. So he will give me the chance to switch to door number two or stick with door number one. Uh, which is why they call it Monty Hall, it's like the, the old show, Let's Make a Deal. So, the, if, you know, a lot of people, when they first see this, they figure at this point it's 50-50, but it's not 50-50. If you stick with your original pick, it's still only a one in three chance that you're going to win. What you should do at this point, and you have to understand that he's always going to show you this donkey. He's never going to show you the prize. So, And he will always open it. One, and don't get it on the first try. He's always going to show you a donkey. What you should do is switch because then you increase, you double your chances of winning. Uh, you go from one-third to two-thirds. I'm going to go ahead and stay. And, of course, I won in this case, so I beat the odds. In one game, I have not switched. I have won one time. I'm going to... Play it a couple more times. I won two in a row, won three in a row. Eventually, after I play this enough times, the odds will uh, demonstrate that one third of the time I will win by using a strategy of sticking with with door number one. I'll just go ahead and go to 30. And out of 30 games, I've stuck with it every time, and I've won 12 times, which is a little bit better than one in third, one in, one out of three, but not that much better. Uh, if you watch me play this slow, I'm picking door number one. He shows me two. I'm gonna stay. I picked one out of three. I got. I won. I beat the odds. Pick door number one. He shows me three. I'm gonna stay. I should have switched. I'm gonna pick door number one. You can see if I if I stick with door number one every time. How could I not win one out of three times? It's that it's just going to happen. I'm going to speed it up again. I'm at 40, 43, 44, 45. At 50, at 50 games, uh, I didn't switch any of them, and I won 18 times. If I keep going with this, if you just watch this, or if you come to the site, and I'll, and I'll put the, the URL in the description as well, if you come to this site and just play it, it, it's, it should become pretty obvious that if I have three doors and I'm picking one, the same one every time, I'm going to only win one out of three times. I don't care what you show me or, or how many times you play it. it, it the more you play, the, uh, the more obvious it should become that these odds, if you're sticking with your strategy of staying with the original pick, 99, 100. <laughs> 33 times. Wow. That's about as even as you're going to get for one out of three. So there you have it. Uh, if you still don't get this puzzle after this, you truly are an idiot. And I'm going to have to make a whole new idiot list for just for you. So come on over to this site and play this game. Tell me how you did. Talk to you later.